Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on our test account and the patch notes are up. That is right, we have been waiting for this. Patch notes 1.136 are up, which gives us new light bearer heroes, Adriana and Eliza, Dance of Endurance. So that means we're getting another light bearer right after we got the Awakened version of Lucius. But that's also amazing because that means that we are not getting a double dimensional release, which is going to literally suck all of our resources out. So it is a light bearer hero, which again, a lot of players were kind of speculating, but now we know it is for sure. So the new heroes um, are going to be available probably tomorrow. The Bountiful Trials are going to be up, which is cool. Um, now let's see, the Event Treasure Vanguard will be available. We know that we already have the selection process on Global. If you're in the Treasure Scramble right now, the selection for Treasure Vanguard is coming, which Treasure Hunters will receive invitations for, for various factions to compete for rewards. Now, added related items, adjustments to signature items. This is kind of what we were waiting for. Adjusted the maximum signature item of all four heroes, excluding Awakened Heroes, from 50 to 40. So all four heroes, I think they mean all four factions, as in, you know, the Light Bears, the Maulers, the Wilders, and the Greyborn. If such hero signature item level has already been raised to 40 or higher before the update, it will be reverted to 40. So if you built anyone to 45, if you built anyone to 50, they're going to go ahead and reset it all the way back down to 40. Any resources spent on the upgrade portion beyond 40 will be emailed back to you in the form of a corresponding number of epic emblem chests. That could be pretty interesting because if you're sitting on a bunch of red chest, you could go ahead and utilize a bunch of red chest and then get them all back at Epic Emblem Chest. Added the signature swap event, which will be available on 223. Um, during the event, Avengers gradually unlock the number of swaps over time for four total swaps. They're going to allow us to swap four signature items, which are going to be huge. Two heroes with the same maximum level can be selected to swap their signature item levels. Added a new level 40 signature item option to popular trained hero signature items and optimized the algorithm to bring the results closer to the choice of adventures. So this, of course, is what a lot of players do kind of rely on. When you look at the popular heroes, when you look at the now the trained heroes for signature items, um, even looking at the engraving, that's what a lot of players do utilize within the game to show them exactly what other players are building and what percentages, things of that nature. Adjusted the Bounty Board rewards to increase the total number of Hero Essence, Elemental Shards, Twisted Essence, and Diamonds rewards from Mythic Innocent. They needed to do this. When we looked at what we were getting out of the out of the Bounty Board when it came to um, the Hero Essence, the Shards, and the Twisted Essence, it really wasn't much of anything. We know how important that is to leveling up heroes and building them out, as well as the Elder Tree, because this one, with the Twisted Essence, we don't have a ton of places that we pick it up. So very, very cool that they're going to make that adjustment there while also removing primordial emblems and amplifying emblems, which is going to be very cool as well. Um, hopefully allowing us to get a lot more of what we need, because, of course, with the primordial and the amplifying emblems from the team bounty quest, those we can buy in the shop with gold, which, again, is, is kind of a interesting twist on that. Added recommendations for collection. So added recommendations for each frequently used collection and collection ability. And again, it's going to go popular hero data. So that's going to be in the exact same place as we've seen the last one or via the popularity portal on the heroes page. Added recommendations of popular collections of hero strategies. Adventure can detail them. Poetic pop quiz is coming. I love the poetic pop quiz. Anytime you get to understand the lore in the methodology that they kind of give it to us is pretty cool to see. When the event is active, adventures can act, answer daily questions for rewards. Added Brutus um, Epic Adventures. So here is the one for Brutus. Now remember, with the Epic Adventures, you do have to have the hero. We've already seen the Awakened version of Taylene. We've seen the Awakened version of Thane. And now we are looking at the one for Brutus. Now you do, again, have to have one single copy of the Awakened version of Brutus to unlock this. If not, it is locked behind that wall, which I know a lot of players didn't like. But you will not be able to access it then. Updated the boss formation for Nightmare Corridor. Light Martyr has been replaced with the Pillar of Justice. Misty Valley is coming. Now, a lot of players, of course, super stoked about this because of the ability to not only get a lot more red chests to build out those signature items, but I know a lot of players are still looking to get baits out of this event to really make a difference. So optimize the leaderboard. Popularity data for Treasure Scramble and Curse Realm are added. Added a new chapter. So chapter 64, Turtlebone Islands which is cool. And then, of course, the new round of the Mystic Star Zone. So a lot of players were actually asking about this. So the way that the Mystic Star Zone was actually um, 
run before is you ran the Mystic Star Zone and then you ran it three different occurrences, which I don't know if that's going to be the same if they're just running this as one, one, one. Um, this event runs as one round of combat comp comprising 10 days as the enrollment period, one match, three days. And again, now they're just running one round. This used to be three rounds. So you'd actually run it over and over and over. It seems like they might just be running this now on repeat at one round versus running it three times with three rounds or one time with three rounds essentially, which is pretty cool. So you get the rewards after every time that you're finished. Again, when this came out with the Mystic Star Zone, this was absolutely just confusing as could be, kind of based on that. So adjustments with Alero fixed an issue that caused the skill all too easy to wrongly trigger in extreme circumstances. Then of course the effect will be up or the patch will be up um, tomorrow within the live servers. Check out the new heroes. So again, Mystic Star Zone, I, I like it. I like how this is built. I like that they're doing it on a rotation. We got the Misty Valley that is coming back. Now, remember this iteration that we're currently in on Global, they did go ahead and up the rewards. So we got three additional chapters that are giving us rewards in there. So making sure that you're going through and making some more of the adjustments and more of the progression through the campaign. Now, of course, added Brutus, the Poetic Pop Quiz is coming. So Brutus, of course, going to be some resources out of there. Poetic Pop Quiz, some resources out of there. Bounty Board, I want to see this update for the before and after and see exactly what it is. If you built them over a 40, you're going to be getting some of those back, which is pretty cool. And then, of course, the Treasure Vanguard. A lot of players do like the Treasure Vanguard. Um, very similar to what we see with the Mystic Star Zone. The Treasure Vanguard, you have to be active. You have to go in there. You have to do your activities. You have to farm up your points. If not, you're not going to get the resources that you need out of there to continue to build heroes. It is really a, a more of a event that you're logging into every now and then. I believe some of them are every couple hours. Some of them are once a day, depending on how often you log into AFK Arena. Personally, I go in probably two or three times a day to make sure that everything is good, but going through here and maximizing the points. And then, of course, super excited that this is not, I repeat, it is not a dimensional hero. That is right. We are not getting another dimensional. And again, a lot of players were kind of concerned with it. One was it a crossover um, coming from another game. There's a lot of references. Also, we know in the latest survey that we had from AFK Arena um, that they did talk about a lot of crossovers. But guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, 